let's dive into the hardware setup starting now we were actually racing when we pre-recorded I mean, this course, of course access is gonna win i mean no question, mm, no question. i don't know about that <laughs> but for those of you who are watching i am right now threading the link suit when i say threading the link suit i mean putting all of the trackers inside the fabric as well as the body pack and the battery and what i'm doing really quick or have done pretty quick was mount my camera onto my helmet i'm setting up my wireless device and my performance capture belt come I'm on trying to keep all the devices all in the belt to avoid any weight on the helmet mm -hmm. and as you can see it was a tie Bing. Boom. All right, now watch this superpower cat. Are you watching? Are you watching? Bing! <laughs> Link suit is on. It's called too much TikTok. Yeah, maybe. So <laughs> now Kat is placing the Mark IV components on me so that the XNs and Phase IV hardware play nice together. Um, so here comes master technique number one. I hope you guys are listening. Unless you own the Bolt 4K LT, that's the Teradek Bolt, right? 4K LT on the performance capture belt. Um, do not place the Teradek transmitter close to the link body pack. You will experience some Wi-Fi interference. So what we recommend is if you have the Bolt 500 or lower, put that Teradek transmitter on the left side of the actor's body or on the front. And keep in mind that the Teradek 4K LT is only available with the Mark IV. So what's happening right now is I'm doing a quick overview of how to frame a actor. Framing is, of course, very uh, important no matter what the uh, pipeline you decide to go with. As you can see here, KJ is looking just a little diagonal. Um, I usually like to look at the chin as one of the first things, um, and I just want to kind of center that out first. Personally, when I frame, I like to work outside in, which means I focus on the bar and the helmet fit before I touch the camera. The camera itself has three different types of motions from your rotation, uh, your panning, and trucking up and down the bar. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of nitpicking on a couple little adjustments and making sure that everything is good to go. I like to also ask my talent to give me a wide open jaw so I know their jaw can fit very comfortably into the frame and there's enough little bit of negative space there at the bottom. Yeah, everything is looking good to go. Well done, Kat. Okay, so here's me putting on the XSENS gloves by Manus. Earlier in 2021, XSENS and Manus took their partnership to the next level. So now we bundle our link or window system with a pair of gloves if you need them. So in the screen recording happening now, I am running Manus Core software, uh, Manus Core, not Apollo, right? So I'm running the Manus Core software. I am calibrating the hands. And then when you run the software, it automatically just streams into MVN so that you can then calibrate the suit. But here comes master technique number two. With the Menace gloves, they use um, wireless channels in the 2.4 gigahertz band. So I'm gonna recommend that you set the wireless connection between the ASUS and the um, body pack to a channel on the five gigahertz band also to avoid interference. So this calibration is almost done. What's really nice about this calibration is it's just three poses. Right, three poses for both hands. Hands are looking good. Now I can switch over to MBN. Great, so now that the gloves are calibrated and streaming into MBN, I can calibrate the link suit. So I've opened up the mocap configuration window, right? I make sure to select the Manus gloves in the fingers tab. Um, I'm gonna start this calibration. Notice that when I'm calibrating, I'm already wearing the Mark IV head cam and the Manus gloves. That's super important because I put the head, the head tracker on top of the helmet itself, um, and then I put the hand trackers um, in the brackets that come with the Manus gloves. You want to make sure that the hands and the helmet are on before you calibrate the Link suit, right? And I see a little cat peeking at the top. <laughs> cat, you did not tell me you edited that into the video. Oh, gosh. All right, so calibration is processing now. I am patiently holding the neutral pose. I can now press apply to set my origin and I'm gonna start walking around my environment so I can warm up those filters before I start streaming data into Unreal Engine. So there's the MVN puppet. It's got really nice fingers. I'm kind of doing some hand clappings because that's another pro tip, right? If you do the hand clapping during the walking portion of the calibration, that believe it or not, does improve hand contacts if that's something that you're trying to fix. 